Hi, this is Mike from Microsoft Box and Reviews and How To, and on today's video, I'm going to show you something very, very simple to do. If Windows 11 is misbehaving and things are starting to not work entirely as they should do, then perhaps you need to do a Windows 11 repair install. And for a lot of people, just the sound of that fills them with dread, thinking they've got to reinstall their applications, re register software, put in your user account details, and all that kind of stuff. Well, this doesn't affect any of that at all. So what this effectively will do is to take the latest version of Windows from the Windows Update servers and then replace your Windows system files and configuration. But don't worry, everything's going to be fine. All of your user account data will be intact. Obviously, as with anything, potentially it's worth doing a backup of your system. But realistically, if you're watching this video, then chances are your system is um, pretty messed up anyway. So you're just looking for a way to resolve it. Now, there are some caveats for this. You do need to have the Windows system operational, at least to some extent, at least being able to boot to Windows. And also, you do have to have some network connectivity, be that through wireless or be that through a LAN connection. So with that said, let's head over to the computer and take a closer look. So here we are on our Windows 11 desktop, and it is relatively well functioning. Although I have recently just changed platforms from Intel to AMD, there's a few little quirks such as sometimes Windows doesn't start up quite as quick as it should do. And certainly some of the background tasks which are running down here, those don't always load either. So there's definitely something a little bit wrong with the system. It is functional, but not as slick as I'd like it to be. So what you're gonna wanna do is click on the start flag and look for your settings cog. Click on that. And then what we wanna do is to go into the Windows update section. In the Windows Update section, choose the Advanced Options, and in the Additional Options of Advanced Options, go into the Recovery section. Now in the Recovery section, there's a few different options which you can choose. You can, if you want to, completely reset your PC, and it will keep personal files and then reinstalls Windows. That is a little bit more drastic. Also, you've got to Go Back, so you can remove the latest Windows Update should you need to. You've also got Advanced Startup, and the quick machine recovery. Now quick machine recovery is actually quite useful as well. So if that isn't turned on, I would certainly suggest turning that on. And basically if your device fails to start, we'll try and fix the problem with device recovery solutions. So this is a new addition in Windows 11. And also you can continue searching if a solution isn't found. Also you can set to how long it does it, all that kind of stuff. So I would certainly turn that on. But for this particular instance, we don't really want to delve into all that. We don't want to reset our PC entirely. We've already gone through some of the troubleshooter techniques, which uh, are generally quite hit and miss. So what we want to do is to use this one here. So fix problems using Windows Update. So as it says there, this will reinstall your current version of Windows, but your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So this is excellent. So click on reinstall now, and you get this dialog box come up saying, repair the components and system files basically goes through to exactly what it's going to do you have got the option as well so if you're going to just be leaving this to do its own thing you can get it so it automatically restarts the pc 15 minutes after the installation entirely up to you whether you choose that or not i'm not going to in this instance so when you're ready click on ok then what it's going to do it's going to actually poll the windows update website and look for the latest updates and shortly after it started doing that, it will say here, Windows 11 version 24H2. Obviously that version will be the same as whatever version you're currently on. And it says there, it's the repair version. And as you can see there, it's downloading in the background. So essentially that is pretty much it. Just let it get on, do its thing. It will download the entire Windows update ISO and basically automate the process for you. So that is essentially it, but we'll come back when it's done just to show you the process. Okay, so we're at the end. It is now at 100%, so just wait for it to do uh, its final rearranging of the files. I should also have said as well, it's probably a good idea, depending on your system, this normally will take somewhere in the region of about half an hour or so, at least it did on my system. So. Make sure that in your Windows power management, you haven't got the system set to go to sleep or to um, hibernate or anything like that, because obviously you want it to go through the entire process. Okay, so we've got a notification on the screen there. So it says about restarting. It says there, 
restart required, estimate 10 to 45 minutes. So it's going to go ahead and do all of the, uh, the background tasks, etc. So let's go ahead and click on restart now. Obviously make sure any programs which are open are closed. And you should get a notification saying the updates are underway. Again, just be patient, let it do its thing. It will probably restart a couple of times. Okay, so that is it completed. Now, obviously some things are gonna want reinstalling to some extent. It's probably a good idea to do that. So in this instance, MSI motherboard, the driver utility installer, because it thinks it needs new drivers. So we'll click on next and see what it wants to install. So actually there's nothing there of any interest to us. So we can just cancel that and click cancel. And that should be pretty much it. So your PC now should be fully functional. Potentially you might want to go into your C drive and see if there's a Windows old folder, which if everything's okay, you can get rid of that. Those Windows old files can be a little bit on the, uh, the large side. So a good few gigabytes of data. So if you want to recover some of your space, this is basically your old Windows install. So you can quite happily get rid of that. And yeah, you can see here it's uh, double digit gigabytes. So it probably is worth getting rid of. So yeah, we've got 34 gigabytes of space tied up there in the Windows old folder. So if you want to, you can get rid of that. Alternatively, you can actually use the Windows Restore to roll back to the old version again if you want to. I would probably suggest against that because it starts getting a bit messy. But certainly do get rid of your Windows.old folder after you've done. Also, it's probably a good idea to reinstall things like the latest chipset drivers for your motherboard and also the latest drivers for possibly your graphics card as well. It may well have introduced the Microsoft WHQL drivers, which are fine, they will work, but they're not the latest and greatest, so potentially you might wanna do that as well. So there you go, that has got to be one of the simplest ways possible to restore your Windows system files if you have a slightly unruly Windows 11 installation. If you've got any comments or questions on this, feel free to let us know in that comments section below. Alternatively, if you're facing further problems, you're more than welcome to join us over on the Discord. Links for that will be in the video description. I think that's going to pretty much wrap this video up. Hopefully it's been useful. If it has, smash the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, maybe consider hitting subscribe. And also, don't forget to hit the chime notification. That way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To. And hopefully, we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.